Cydia tweaks. First, we're going to start off with number 10, which is Blurred NC Background. When you swipe down, you can see your notifications like this. And, of course, this is all blurred, and that's it makes a nice interface. Um, you can go into Settings and can change it to whatever color or however much blur you want tint color you can change to like this which is kinda nice on the list which is number nine is status tab and when you're on a game or on a full screen application and you can't see your time or anything such as tempo run and go there loads the game and you can just swipe down from the top and you can see all your information 954 and things like that so I think it comes in handy instead of exiting the game and going through all that trouble. Tweak is number eight, which is subtle lock. When you go on your lock screen, you can change the position of your uh, lock uh, arrow here and the time. So if you go enable clock, lock the phone, and it changes everything like there. So that's what subtitle lock is. The next city tweak is called swipe selection. And in this tweak, you can type like this. And if you mess up like this, you can just swipe on the keyboard to select any letters instead of holding down and going to the annoying magnifying glass, which is really, really useful. I find it. I use it every day and no complaints about it so that's what swipe selection is and you can also hold type in some letters and you can also hold shift and then you can select them like so like that so I just find that really useful Zephyr which is a multitasking switching application or city of tweak um, I have it set up so you could switch applications with two fingers from the swipe of either side of the screen like so I go to maps to YouTube to settings tempo run and you can go back and forth like this so and you can change however you want to swipe the screen. I exit the application like this. And so that comes in really handy as well. You can change the um, settings in Activator to change however you want to swipe or switch applications. Is by the font. And you can download this in the City Store for free. And really, it just changes. Uh, font of your device um, like your keyboard and you can change it change it individually such as lock screen notes and so on and you can download hundreds of fonts probably thousands under the city of store for free so that comes in handy as well instead of looking default and ugly and everything else like that so that's by default which is number Eight is a browser changer and it just changes your default browser from whatever you have which is Chrome or into Mercury Pro these are all the browsers I guess you can download um, the default is Safari and you can open with your favorite browser so I have Mercury Pro and that's a really good browser so that's my default whenever I click on the link so that is called browser changer is called Safari download manager which is number three and what it
it does when you open Safari is you can have an option of downloading videos and anything else you want. So I'm going to demonstrate this. This will pop up and this video is an AVI format. You can download any format of image or any file and you can change the destination and you just hit download and it downloads you hit the arrow down there and you can see your progress so that is called safari download manager this week which is number two on the list is called sb settings slash activator now when you download sb settings from the city app store you will download activator as well so here's sb settings and which it really just you can just change the options of your status bar and things like that so it comes in handy pretty well so that's what SP settings is I'm sure most of you download it as soon as you jailbreak your device which I do because it's one of the top best things for City of Tweaks number one and best city of tweak is spring to mize. now spring to mize changes the settings of pretty much everything on your iDevice including icons and lock screens and everything else in between um, also I use winterboard to change the themes which is a theming application this changes size and it's just there's a lot there to you can change so that is what SP settings is you can change the capabilities of what you can do in case you're facing trouble it comes in handy as well so that is my top 10 city of tweaks thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe